Now this uh, question 17 which is based on thermodynamics and that too for polytropic process. It says that one mole of an ideal monatomic gas undergoes a process described by the equation PV raised power 3 is equal to constant. So this is a typical polytropic process in which the exponent capital N is 3 given to you. Now they are asking to heat capacity asking you what is the heat capacity of the gas during this process. So it is a direct formula based question you understand the heat capacity for polytropic process in case I say that the polytropic process is PV raised to the power N is equal to constant. So the heat capacity for this process has the standard relation Cv plus R upon 1 minus N you understand. Now you see Cv for monatomic gas has the standard value 3 R by 2 and this is plus R upon 1 minus n, n value if you compare n has been given to be equal to 3. So this is equal to r. So for that matter uh, I will be marking option 4 here. This is the heat capacity. Answer 4 will be the correct option for question number 17. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 18. Now this uh, question 18 is based on the concept of ideal refrigerator you have. It says that temperature inside a refrigerator is T2 degree Celsius. So this is cold reservoir temperature. This is a typical if you draw the typical block diagram of refrigerator. So this is cold, this is hot, W is given here, this is Q1 you can say this is hot reservoir this is cold reservoir. So it is saying that the temperature inside a refrigerator is T2 degree Celsius. So this will be 273 plus T2 isn't it? You have to take temperature in Kelvin and the room temperature that is the surroundings temperature is T1 degree Celsius. So this is given to you 273 plus T1. Now the amount of heat delivered to the room this is Q1 you are supposed to calculate let me call it x this is what you have to calculate for each joule of electrical energy consumed so this is work that has been given to the system so this w and this q2 if both of them are added together that makes it x so the value of this thing will be x minus 1 that means the heat extracted from the cold part is x minus 1 and delivered to the surroundings is x now since the uh, process we are assuming to be uh, reversible. So you can also say that x upon x minus 1 this is the ratio of heat that is also the ratio of temperature there. So this is 273 plus T1 upon 273 plus T2 273 plus T2. So you have to do the cross multiplication and solve for x. If you solve for x you will be getting T1 plus 273 upon T1 minus T2 this is what you will be getting. So this uh, second option will be the option that will be coming for this particular question. I will be marking answer 2 for this question number 18. Now let us switch over to question 19. Now this is a question, question 19 based on uh, ideal gas equation. It says that a given sample of an ideal gas occupies a volume V at a pressure P and absolute temperature T. So if you have the standard expression for ideal gas that is PV is equal to nRT is not it. Now the mass of each molecule of the gas is small m. So which of the following gives the density of the gas. So if you manipulate this expression you can also say this number of moles is uh, mass upon molecular weight or molecular weight can be written as. Uh, Avogadro number multiplied by mass of each molecule that has been given a small m into r into t is not it. And if this m by v if you take that makes it density so p v by capital M that makes it r t by small m into capital M. r by capital N this is also called Boltzmann constant so you can write it as small k capital T by small m and you are supposed to write down this density. So if you see density density is m by v. So this is uh, nothing but P small m by small k into capital T. So you can see that uh, this option number 2 has got this expression P small m upon kt. So I will be marking answer 2 for this and uh, I will be marking answer 2 for this question 19. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 20. Now 